Welcome to Special Data Hub. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can get the area and perimeter of polygons, how you can get the length of lines like roads, um, railways, and all of that. So here I have the land use of a state in Nigeria opened here. So we want to get the area of each land use, either residential, farmland. Let's find it. So click on the field calculator it looks like an abacus on your toolbar first click on your layer of interest which is the land use on your layers panel if you don't find your layers panel here right click on this point so and check your box of layers panel then go straight to your field calculator check the create new field if you're creating a new field if you have an existing field which you will simply want to update fine so let's set it at land use land use area we want an integer but we also want decimal places so set it to decimal number precision set as three fine now scroll through the functions list of functions here we can write a formula here that's also fine but of course the easier the better so you select the area that has the dollar sign ahead of it the area with the dollar sign once you have done that it appears here double click on it you can always read the main points of what that function does and when you are done you click on ok and we are good right click on this open the attribute table and we can now see the area assigned to each to three decimal places in meters so if you want to also check the length of roads let's turn off this layer and I'll turn on the roads layer. I'm going to check the length, length of each of these roads. You can click on your layer. Open your field calculator. Create a new, okay, sorry. Create a new field. And then check length, L-E-N-G-T-H. Doesn't matter. Decimal number. We can also set our precision to 3 and then on the geometry scroll down you'll see length if you want perimeter also scroll down you'll see perimeter somewhere and that's just how it works as simple as that you can read through to double click and it shows here click on ok There are so many roads this time so it takes a longer time to process so when it's done right click on the layer open attribute table see you have it's six thousand roads and then you have the length assigned here so let's say you want to you want it to display on each road so let's open our layers panel. You want the length to display on each route. Go to your labels, select single labels. Select single labels, set your value to length. Here you have it so you can tinker with this reduce the font size you can change the styling you can change the font style you can change the colors you can play around this and get your final results thank you for watching see you in the next video do well to subscribe to the channel and check out the playlist that is displayed on your screen on your end screen